all of this is great. And we could then say, knowing this about higher and lower frequencies, we want this range. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. No, um, it's, not. it's not just our system, first off. If you're at a festival where multiple different companies are running wireless systems for microphones, for in-ear monitors, you're going to need to work around those people. Yeah. But sadly, the audio world, the professional audio world, isn't really the most powerful force when it comes to the FCC in the United States regulating which frequencies can be used mm -hmm. by who. Yeah. And so it's, it's not just us um, no. as audio professionals. We've also got digital television. We've also got 5G networks. And yeah. each year it sort of changes just the legislation mm -hmm. around which frequency ranges we can use. Yeah. Where are we sitting right now? with which frequencies can be used for our purposes? Well, it, 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 it actually depends on what part of the world you're in. There are what we call ITU regions. So there's region one, region two, region three. Uh, Europe and well, EMEA is region one, America's region two, and APAC is region three. If I remember my numbers correctly, I'm horrible with numbers. <clears throat> but it means, you know, within a set spectrum. So we would normally think of 470 megahertz up to about 700 megahertz as being the, the standard um, wireless operating range. In America, that is severely restricted. Uh, there is a lot going on. There's a lot of digital television as well, which is now coming in, not just in America, but around the world. That is eating into this space. It can seem as a very arbitrary um, process where we as manufacturers sort of just get railroaded by mobile phone manufacturers, mobile, mobile phone carriers with billions of dollars to spend and to buy space. But I do have to admit that the FCC and other world organizations do listen very, very carefully to us um, as wireless device manufacturers, because not just wireless microphone systems, there's other stuff in there as well. Radio communications that um, emergency services use, military services use, et cetera, et cetera. We're all fighting for this space. Yes, it's been restricted. Yes, we don't have as much as we'd like. And we're always, every couple of years, of this thing called the World Radio Conference, where, and there's one actually this year uh, in 2023, uh, where they'll all get together, all the world organizations will get together and battle out who's going to get what kind of, we make it a battle, but it's not. But at the, end, at the end of the day as well, we as manufacturers are adapting to that. So we're moving away from the older analog technologies, we moved into digital technologies, which become more spectrum efficient. And that is the name of the game at the moment, it's being spectrum efficient, using the spectrum we have to its maximum potential. We can't realistically fight back against this restriction of airwaves because we have to be aware that, you know, these other devices, so whether it's 5G and, and this whole development of the internet of things, so we need that space, that is gonna bring profound benefits for us as individuals, but also for us as a company. So. Yeah, we can say, ooh, can you just be, you know, just to be a little less generous and make sure we have that. But at the same time, we, we're very much aware of, okay, well, there are things we can do to be, as I said, spectrum efficient, um, to make sure that potentially this other stuff that's going to be developed and put into these uh, wireless frequency ranges is potentially something we could then turn into a product and use those spaces and become a new way of doing things. And by spectrum efficiency, it's like, we know we have this bandwidth to work with. How can we fit more channels into yeah. that that we have? Yeah. And I suppose it's not all bad. Yeah. I would rather there be regulation than just complete randomness. Yeah. And it's nice to know that when we come into the show um, in a live sound situation, that at least 5G is not gonna be broadcasting where we are and at least uh, radio stations won't be broadcasting where we want mm -hmm. to work. Yeah. There may be some TV stations, there yeah. may be other people's um, devices, but it's already thinned out to the point where we, we have solutions where we can work around yeah. that.